This is the center of the ancient city. The name of the square is Piazza della Repubblica. Column of Abundance is the name of the statue that sits here in the main square. We're walking down the street and it's a pretty ordinary street and I look down this uh, road or street that goes between these buildings here and I see the statue of David. I am beside myself. I want to go and see the statue immediately but our tour guide tells us oh no we've got to go down the street and see a few more things and then we're going to wrap around and come back to David. I can't believe I'm leaving David. We're coming up to a building that's called Alagia. It was built around the 16th century in the heart of the city. Today, this building is very famous for housing the statue Futana del Porcicino. Translation is Piglet Fountain. The original purpose of this building was to sell silk luxury goods, and then eventually the famous straw hats. But today, mainly leather goods and souvenirs are sold in the building. The statue was built in 1546. An ancient legend claims that if you make a wish while you're touching the animal's nose, or if you insert a coin into the animal's mouth, and the coin falls down through the grid below the wild boar's feet, your wish will become true very soon. The wild boar is made of bronze, and hundreds of people, thousands of people, visit it every year. This bridge really has quite a history. During World War II, Italy bartered to have this bridge be saved so the Germans didn't ruin it, wreck it, before they left the country. It is the only bridge that survived World War II. Take a good look at the architecture of this bridge and then I'll show you a newer bridge. This is one of the newer bridges very different in construction. Fundvecchio is one of the most famous bridges for shopping. You will find Gucci, Ferragamo, Valentino, Parada, and Armani, and the list goes on and on. The shops are built right off from the side of the bridge and are held up with stilts. We are finally back to where I saw the statue of David. Palazzo Vecchio, or the Queen's Old Palace, is one of the most important and famous buildings in Florence. We were told by our guide that the Queen decided that she didn't want to live in this kind of concrete type area. She wanted to be out in the country where she had green grass and flower beds and, and things like that. So she built, or she had built, um, a brand new palace. And at that point, this area turned into an area where they have uh, a number of the most famous statues and to this day there is a museum and also City Hall in that building. Abductation of the Sublime Virgins, a marble sculpture group created in 1585 by Gimbalagna. This is an amazing area. You get to see so much uh, in the way of art it, it, it's just incredible, this particular area. I was absolutely enthralled and um, ju just kind of lost myself uh, in the different statues. There are two lion statues at the entrance of this exhibit. Look at the detail. I could stay here forever. I am having the best time. CJ and Jessica are having a great time too. They're running around taking pictures like mad also. 
The bronze statue of Perseus is still one of the highlights of the Lagia. We come around the corner and there's Neptune's Fountain. This is just a place that has so much art. This is just outstanding. Look at the detail in the beard and the crown. I'm really loving my camera. I can really zoom in really, really tight and get some just fantastic detailed pictures. There, finally, it's David. Michelangelo's David. Even though it is a replica, this is in the exact spot where the original used to be. Of course, the really important statues like David are uh, imitations, they are replicas, and the valuable statues are all in uh, museums throughout Italy. This is Hercules. Scott, Jessica, and myself turned around to look for our tour group, and they were gone. I accidentally had my camera running when I realized that we had been left behind and I will do a separate video of that. We caught up with them as they were all having lunch in this gorgeous, gorgeous dining room. <laughs> 